Welcome back to Old Trafford for the second half of a game that has been absolutely magnificent to watch. Chances and everything going at both ends of the field. An inspiring score of 0-0. Inspiring because David Ospina has been magnificent in the Arsenal goal for that first half. Manchester United, no matter how many chances they created, and they did create a lot of them, Ospina has kept them all out. We've done how seeing no reason to change his side as has Arsene Wenger, so he hasn't had to jump to Alexis Sanchez yet. Here is Ramsey. Ramsey and Wilshere definitely proving a fantastic partnership in the midfield over the last couple of seasons. Ramsey in particular. And Cazola Sosa. with the free kick still be could some departures coming in on Old Trafford maybe Johnny Evans Darren Fletcher we know is leaving to West Brom Louis Van Gaal looks to be making all the right moves once again for a Champions League challenge and for Depay 30 goals for PSV Definitely a goal scoring machine, if you, if you like. Even though he is, on paper, a left midfielder. Here's Di Maria. A draw here would send the league title fight down to the final day. A win would probably seal it for Manchester United on their home ground. Here's Henwood. Oh! <laughs> now Henwood doesn't try that very often, but he's feeling ambitious. Oh! Now, you will not see Aaron Henwood do that a lot. I can guarantee you that. But he is on such form at the moment that he'll try anything. And it'll come off a lot more wonderfully than it looks. It is going to take something special to beat David Ospina today. And we all remember in the first league encounter between these two, Alexis Sanchez scoring the final seconds of the match. Aaron Henwood looked to have a say of his own, but... The shot went wide right at the end. That was the League Cup fixture, I believe. That one. Sure. I have to pick out Rooney. Oh shit. Ozil. He tackled by Shaw. Well, Shaw, despite his uh, injury niggles, has done really well for United. One of the best defenders. Aside from Hummels, of course. Hummels was so important to, for your Manchester United to get, especially with um, Vidic and Ferdinand moving on. Vidic going to Inter Milan and Ferdinand going to Queen's Park Rangers. Substitution for Arsene Wenger. And he is turning to the hero man. Alexis Sanchez is coming on for Theo Walcott here. And you have to, you have to think that Wenger obviously, <laughs> obviously putting him on was a good idea. Let's see if Alexei can uh, bring out another heroic performance for Arsenal against Manchester United anyway. Arsenal were changed over the league not long ago, but they fell out of the picture only about five games ago, sadly. And it's been left to Manchester United and Chelsea to battle it out. Luke Shaw passing to Bushi with almost a complete ease. He's put up by Ramsey. And some of these Arsenal players will be old teammates of Robin Van Persie. And here is Van Persie. And Maria Herrera, the passing again, and it's broken down per Matisaka. Great interception by the Arsenal captain. And Maria. Hits it back. Even Henwood's passing the ball. Henwood is tackled and uh, you have to do that. Have to get the ball off Aaron Henwood as quick as possible, especially in the form he's in. De Boucher. Pizzola. Pizzola passes Luke Short. Not for long.
him was absolutely clipping it to Ander Herrera and Herrera's kept it in. A wonderful pass from Henwood if it wasn't what he intended too much. Oh my goodness me. Aaron Henwood, what can he do at the moment? Humor is offside. A wonderful pass from Henwood, although I don't think he really intended that too much, but he'll take it. It's a complete pass, so <laughs> that's another one to add to his collection. I'm just going to come into battle here. And we're just going to pick it up. Ruin it. It's all been all Manchester United so far in the second half. Herrera keeps it. And Herrera scores. And finally, David Ospina sadly is beaten. And Herrera just beats him out of nothing. No, that's actually Robbie Van Persie. Well, that's going to go down in like a lead balloon in the Arsenal side of things. Robbie Van Persie scores out of nothing. Out of completely nowhere, I didn't expect him here. He keeps the ball wonderfully. And, oh, he's actually shouldered by Koscielny as he hits him. Wow, what composure by Robin Van Persie here. Koscielny's actually holding his hands up saying, I didn't do anything, but it doesn't matter. Van Persie has scored anyway. Well, he faced three months on the sidelines, Robin Van Persie. That's why he has six goals now, but... Oh my goodness, well, Manchester United haven't been able to say this for a while. Manchester United won Arsenal nil. And well, David Ospina, you have to feel sorry for him. He's done a fantastic job in the Arsenal goal, but Manchester United will eventually do that to you. But here's Alexis Sanchez. And that's have uh, has uh, Manchester United fans kind of shaking a little bit. And here he is again. And... Uh, this isn't really going to beat David De Gea, unfortunately. Four meters in as well. Sure. Di Maria. Manchester United will probably sit down and play their game now. And they are doing it magnificently. Herrera. He's lost the ball. It's not time for Arsenal to see if they can get an equaliser. And if there's one team that deserves it, it's them. We, we all want this title race to go down to the final day. For drama's sake, at least. They're back in. And love it here. And uh, something is called against. Fouls called against Ozil, I think. Oh, it's offside against Ozil, even though he's nowhere near a goal scoring position, in my opinion. Shouldn't really have been called. Here's Matter. Boucher, Rooney, and there'll be Maria, and we might as well try, he's another man on great form, the referee signalling a corner I think, De Boucher or Koscielny, getting his uh, thighs on that pretty much, <laughs> De Maria with the corner, and we're going to get in the box, he's just too short, here he is anyway. And it's brought down. No foul given. Advantage gained. Robin Van Persie shoots. Corner. And this is all Manchester United now. Now they've got the goal. They, they can't stop making chances for themselves. Arsenal defending valiantly here. They were over the corner. That hubbles. It's over the bar. Uh, what is the referee signal there? I think it might be another corner. Shiny plans aren't moving. Guess it's a corner. Di Maria again. Matt Hubbles again. Hubbles is brought down. No penalty given. Make sure. Decides not to shoot this time. Wade Rudy gets it through somehow. A speed with the save. Action packed stuff here. Wade Rudy, how did he get through all this? Magnificently done. Good save by Spina. If Arsenal don't get a draw here or a win, it's uh, it's cruel on them, to be honest. Maria with the corner. Hummel's trying in with a diving header this time. And here's Aaron Hemwich crossing it. One matter. And Aaron Hemwich with the cross and half. And Percy. And Manchester United are all over Arsenal now. And Speeder will be lucky to get this goal kick and get it out. 
Well, Aaron Head with the cross to Mata was absolutely immaculate. Goodness knows how he pulled it off. I think even he looked surprised when Mata come down with it. He was, he was like, wow, did I just do that? <laughs> Here's De Boucher for Arsenal. Still time. They don't get an equaliser here. And they deserve it. And De Boucher wants to take matters into his own hands, it seems. Oh shit. Sanchez. Ozil. Arsenal aren't giving this up. They've just not really had that much of the ball. Because Manchester United have kept it brilliantly. He's just looking for something. Can't really find it. He's just back to Debouche anyway. Go by Luke Shaw. Arsenal really just took too long. Gibbs. Sanchez. Sanchez is actually going in the other direction. With enough. Mind you, he's found a gap. Manchester United have completely slacked off. Here's Sanchez. Well, going with reverse word. Sanchez keeping it in the corner. What for? What is Sanchez keeping it in the corner for? His team are behind. Bizarre. Bizarre play by Sanchez. Absolutely bizarre. Oh, Aaron Hill just dispossessed by Dzeko. That doesn't happen very often. But Arsenal, don't go ahead. What? Jacko, what on earth is going on here? This is bizarre. Arsenal just... I don't know what's going on here, but this is confusing me. Ozil, and Ozil scores. Well, whatever that bizarre stuff was, it worked. Mesut Ozil was scored. And Arsenal do get an equaliser. Unbelievable. We all thought Arsenal weren't even going to bother, but Ozil took matters in his own hands and goes, this is how you do it. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff here at Old Trafford. <laughs> Whatever the case, Mesut Ozil was scored against Manchester United. And they just can't beat Arsenal here. Ozil, wow, what a shot. I think that went through the legs of Hubbles. It did. Oh, slice of luck perhaps. David De Gea obviously caught unawares and Hubbles. Wow. That is a shot from Ozil that is pretty much unheard of in turn. That's a nutmeg and shot. That's what that is. And it paid off. Mesut Ozil scores his 7th of the season. And Danny Welbeck comes on for Dzeko. Wow. Arsenal didn't look like they wanted to score. And then Ozil did. Unbelievable. Goes it to Rooney. Wade Rooney. Speeder has been an inspired form. Well, what strange goings on there with the with the minds of the Arsenal players. Maybe they were just playing possum with them. There's still time to get a second, by the way. Here's Gazzola. Oh, Gazzola not keeping it in the corner this time. David Hare, not the all convincing punch. But uh, they clear it anyway. Wade Rooney. On into the game. Oh, but the tables turn and Arsenal here. Rudy. Great shot. But why did Spinas right hand post? Great shot here. Well, this pretty much confirms that the uh, title race will go down to the final day, and Louis van Gaal just cannot win against Arsene Wenger right here. And uh, but it's a lot more than he's got before. He was knocked out of the League Cup by Arsenal, and then he. Didn't score any points in the first league encounter. So, this point he's going to get here is more than he's got against Arsenal all season. But what strange circumstances that goal came from. And with the tackle. Just out of nowhere. It's like Arsenal were playing possum with them. I'm not sure that's entirely uh, in the fair playbook, but it worked. <laughs> Passes to Herrera, passes it down to Shaw. Shaw gets past with Dubushi again. Shaw's making a mid speed of it. And to Herrera. And go Di Maria. Everyone is shooting. Corner. Well, Arsenal here. They deserve it. And that man, especially, David Ospina. Fantastic saves. A good defending by Arsenal again here. Maybe a hint of handball. I don't think it was intentional, though. 
Everton three left to go. Dean Rooney with the corner. Are you ready? Out to Luke Shaw again. And again he's denied, Luke Shaw. That is the end of the game. Well, an equaliser deserved, but in very bizarre circumstances after Robbie Van Persie opened the scoring. Mesut Ozil, out of a bit of a possum game for Arsenal perhaps, scores the equaliser. Louis Van Gaal has still not beaten Arsene Wenger, but it's a lot more than what he got in the previous two matches. Manchester United won, Arsenal won, after a bizarre Ozil equaliser. What was on going on there? So, the other concurring fixture, no other goals were scored, meaning Manchester City beat Swansea City by a goal to nil. So, going into the final day, this is what the table looks like. Chelsea can still win it, but Manchester United only need a point now. Their goal difference is far superior to Chelsea's. Arsenal will have to win to stay third against Liverpool in their stay draw and Liverpool lose. Manchester City looked confirmed to be out of the top five. They would need to win and to have a very goal difference haul to beat Spurs. So it looks like the top five is cool but confirmed. Manchester United will go into the, obviously the final day. Two points clear. Arsenal stay on 71. They would need a win and Liverpool to worsen their result or to equal or worsen their result to stay third. The relegation zone is also um, up for grabs. Crystal Palace is still down there. I would say Swansea and Leicester are safe on goal difference. So it's between West Ham and Crystal Palace. Let's have a quick look at what these matches are and see if we can get some, uh, some clarification on what's going on. So, Arsenal have West Brom. Aston Villa face relegation uh, confirmed Burnley. Chelsea have Sunderland. Crystal Palace face Swansea City. Everton face Spurs. Hull City, as we said, facing United at the KC Stadium. Leicester face QPR. Manchester City have Southampton. Newcastle United have West Ham. And Stoke City have Liverpool. So let's look at this. Chelsea probably confirmed to beat Sunderland on paper, but you never know. Sunderland did uh, end the run of Jose Mourinho at home. Manchester City could be on paper again, uh, ready to face QP, uh, beat QPR, but... Manchester United only need a point now to confirm as Premier League champions. Arsenal looking to stay third. They probably should beat West Brom, no problem. Liverpool have Stoke City. That's going to be a tough one for them at Fort Britannia. Um, I'm trying to find... Well, okay, this is interesting. Crystal Palace of Swansea City. That would be an interesting game. Um, let's just go back to the table while I refresh my memory of who's down there. Right, so Crystal Palace and West Ham will not uh, be saved on goal difference. This will be decided on points, as Leicester City's goal difference is far superior to those. What a far, far saving um, situation for Leicester City. Saved, and Nigel Wilson, don't forget, was on the brink of the sack. And he saved Leicester City. Magnificent. Um... I would say that it's going to be between West Ham and Crystal Palace to who goes down, because as we said, Leicester have a superior goal difference. So, Crystal Palace need to win. Basically, they need they need to win. They cannot draw. A draw would not be enough. So, Crystal Palace need to win, and West Ham have to lose. If West Ham draw, that's enough. So, West Ham would only need a point, but Crystal Palace need three. No other option is required for Crystal Palace. If they don't win, they are relegated. With Wilfred Sahar and all. Spurs, let's let's see where the top is. So as we said, Manchester United only need a point. And I would say that everything else is pretty much confirmed. Arsenal and Liverpool finding over third. So who qualifies for the Champions League at the qualifying stage? Spurs could get there. Spurs could get there if Liverpool lose. If Liverpool lose and Spurs win... Then Spurs will go up into fourth, and both London clubs, for the first time in I don't know when, will be in the Champions League. Unbelievable. Manchester City look out of the Europa League spot anyway. So, I mean, Spurs will pretty much be confirmed there. Goal difference is far superior. So, Manchester City are confirmed in sixth place, I think. Unless the goal difference uh, says a lot of matters for City, they would need... 
They need about seven goals to have eight goals to stand a chance. So it looks like Spurs are confirmed for fifth and could go fourth. What an end to the season this is going to be. So, Manchester United need a point. Spurs need to win and Liverpool need to lose to go fourth. Crystal Palace need to win to have any chance of surviving. What a last day this is going to be. I cannot wait.